Hello everyone, welcome to Stochastic Calculus for Finance 1. This is section 3.2 on the random decoding derivative process. So in the previous section, we have already seen the random decoding derivative z of the recent trial probability with respect to the actual probability in an n-period binomial model. And if you remember well, this random, this, this, deriv this random variable z depended on all coin tosses. And what I mean by that is, if you look at this uh, picture that we showed in the previous video, to calculate basically the random decoding derivative, right, all we need to do is to calculate the probability at each of these final nodes of the tree, and then we calculate the probability on the, the risk neutral world and the probability on the, the real world. And then all we need to do then is just to take the ratio for each uh, node at the end of the tree, then from here we get what we call the random uh, decoding derivative z. However, sometimes like you can like, think about having like an asset whose payoff really depends maybe only on the first two coin tosses. So to be able to handle these cases well, we need to introduce the concept of random decoding derivative process. And you will see uh, in the next slide what that means. So let's talk about this random decoding derivative process. First, this is a theorem. Uh, let z be a random variable in an n-binomial model. Then, the process z n, right, which is defined as the expectation as the end of time n of the random variable z, is a martingale. And this is a very easy uh, property to show. And to show that, we can see. Okay, so what do we need to do to show that this z n is a martingale? All we need to sh need to do is to show that the expected value, as we can stand at time n of z n plus one next period, is just the current value of z n. Okay, let's see how we can show this. Well, the expected value of time, uh, as we stand of at time n of z n plus one, z n plus one is nothing but by definition is the expected value. As we turn at time n plus one of the random variable z, all right? And we have seen by iterated conditioning that this is nothing but the expected expected value as we turn at time n of the random variable z. And this is by definition z n. And that's why we say this is actually a martingale. That's a very simple property. Now, this z could be any random variable that we can think of. But in particular, if this z is actually the random decoding, then we call this z n now the random decoding derivative process. And by and then similarly we can talk about state price process density, which is just basically the same definition as a normal state price density function, but instead of z at the numerator here, instead of z, then we put z n and that's it. So this comes with like a few lemmas. So let's assume, for example, that we have a random variable y that depends only on the first n coin tosses. Then we can say that the expected value of y under the risk neutral wall is equal to the expected value under the real wall of like this random decoding derivative process zn time y. And I can show very quickly how this is uh, a proof of this. So the expected value under the real under the risk neutral wall of random variable y and remember y depends only on the first n coin tosses that is we have shown before that we can convert from the risk neutral world to the real to the real world um, to the real world probabilities by just taking this y and multiplying it by the random decoding derivative z and then we can notice that now, we, by iterated conditioning, this is the same thing as writing. This is equal to the expectation as we turn of time n, right? Of the random variable y, z n. This is the same thing. But now, n dep y depends only on the first n coin tosses, right? So, uh, so when we stand at time, uh, y depends on the, only on the first n coin tosses. So when we stand at this time period, we already know exactly what y is. So we can take out what is known, as we can say it. So that is the same thing as y, expected value as we turn at time n, 
of z. And obviously, by definition, this is nothing but, but zn. So that is the expected value as it at time y of zn. And voila. And this is actually quite profound. So it means like if this if, if y depends only on a first end quintosis, then we don't really need to have basically the random decoding derivative. We can just use like the random decoding derivative process at time n. And using that, we can convert the probability from uh, the, the risk neutral world to the real world. And, and that's it for that. And also, uh, there's like this other lemma. I'm not going to prove this one. But basically, the expected value as we tend at time n of random variable y uh, using the risk neutral world, there's just like this ratio or the random decadent derivative as we tend at time n, which where it will be now of the expected uh, expected value of z m y. All right.